Hello everybody, if you watched my previous video, do you know by now that I actually moved from having a Galaxy Note 8 to have a iPhone 12 Pro Max. And the, one of the main reasons why I got this, uh, this iPhone is because I want to take videos and pictures on the go without pulling my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which is a little bit bigger. So that's what I'm showing videos that I took during the day and during the night time, so that way it's a fair comparison, you know, without just ran out of the bad thing that I don't like about this phone. And then, um, as you can see, I shot this on um, Venice Beach. It was, I think it was 11 o'clock, 11.20 or something. Like that. So the, the sun was pretty much almost halfway up there. And even though the videos and the pictures are too, they're really amazing. They're great, you know. It depends, you know, this shot actually was pretty much facing the sun a little bit. So it was a little bit more darker, but it, it all depends how you shot, you know what I mean? The, the ideal shot to do is pretty early in the morning, like from 6, 7, all the way to 10, and then afternoon from 3 to 5, I guess, at this time, because the sun goes down earlier. But anyways, as, as, as long as you know those details, you can get a great quality pictures and video from this phone. And don't get me wrong, this phone is actually really great. I thought it was going to be difficult for me to learn and move over to this new system, but I guess... Uh, I pick it up really fast and I'm really um, hooked with it. Not to mention that I can connect to my iMac computer, to my MacBook Pro too as well. It have pretty much everything in sync. But like I said before, the main reason why I bought this phone is because I want to take quality videos and pictures during the day and during the night time. Like I say, during the day is an amazing phone, but during the night time is when I don't like it. So we went out again and we started shooting during the night time and my surprise was that there was a lot of dots and flares all over the phone, all over the picture, all over the screen. And I was like, what's going on, you know? Uh, sometimes you get like a little dot here and there from my other phone, but that's okay, I can figure that out. But when you see like multiple flares and multiple dots all over, uh, this is really unacceptable. I mean. I can't use these videos professionally because all these flares and dots all over. I mean, if, if you use it for fun with your friends, your family, you're taking videos, let's say, uh, you know, I mean, nowadays we can't really go out and have dinner or get together with our families, but, you know, if you go out just for fun, these are going to be all over and it doesn't look good, you know? So, in my opinion, it's like uh, you're paying pretty much $200 plus tax and plus the charger plus the earphones that you need to buy because it doesn't come with it you know you're spending you're spending like fourteen hundred dollars so this should be the best camera for the price i'm paying and don't get me wrong the videos are not actually way better than other cameras that i've seen but the fact that we get uh, reflections and dots on it is a deal breaker for me so i'm returning this phone fortunately i, I signed a paper saying that if i had if i don't like this phone i had to pay a 75 restocking fee but this is not a dislike problem it's more a hardware issues so it's going back i'll leave an update on the comments to see how that went but for now bye bye thanks for watching i'll see you next one bye bye